students experience different kinds of challenges when you engage them in a community context. Many of them have a good sort of mental attitude and preparation for that. Other students um, need help realizing that uh, a new level of responsibility has been placed on their shoulders. And often, um, the situation itself does the teaching there. We encourage our partners to provide honest feedback to the students. They will, the students will listen to our um, collaborating teachers in a way that they probably don't listen to anybody else because they're getting very direct feedback from a very highly skilled professional in the field that they're headed towards. Um, so uh, many of the challenges we deal with through that kind of real world uh, feedback Certainly, some of the challenges are simply logistical. Um, it can take a lot of extra effort to um, engage students in the community. We maintain close relationships with a whole wide variety of community partners. I tap some of those partners for the evaluation class where my graduate students um, design evaluation plans for a local nonprofit for a specific information need that that group has. They have to define who's actually going to use that information and, and um, so it won't just be a report that sits on the shelf. So maintaining those relationships is a challenge. Um, establishing clear understandings with the community partner in terms of what the students can realistically deliver is, is also a challenge. Although we don't lowball that, we actually um, try to raise the bar, raise the expectation for the students on that. It, it's not useful to be condescending about it. Um, we do really want our students to perform well and do something that's useful. So you have to have trust. You have to have faith that your students are going to do the best, that they're already there as learners, and you can depend on them to rise to the occasion. Uh, I think that's an important attitude to bring into this kind of teaching. and. Uh, it isn't always intuitive, um, but after you've seen it enough times, you realize the students really will um, rise to the challenge. You, what you're doing is um, helping open the door, helping them get outside of the classroom, which has dominated their education so much uh, up to this point, and engage with the world outside, which is where they're going to be spending the rest of their career. So we're there as facilitators. Uh, door openers and uh, um, after the students have experienced walking through one of those doors they can generalize that experience and realize that there are potentials for learning and engagement all around them that they may not have realized before and go on and become much more self-directed learners who are in the driver's seat of their education and their learning. But I think it's essential of course to have uh, really open channels of communication to establish uh, a sense that um, all of what happens for them is okay to talk about. Um, and we're going to experience uh, setbacks, we're going to experience challenges, we're going to experience group friction. Um, all those kinds of things are going to be part of the experience. They may come up against a, a very difficult feeling in themselves or uh, interpersonal challenge uh, where they don't get along with somebody in their group or something. So establishing that kind of atmosphere where um, even if not in the whole group, at least between you and the students or um, in, in some kind of way, you're able to step in and, and detect things that need to be addressed when they're about to happen. Or, and if it already happens, to step in and intervene so that they don't fall completely flat on their face, uh, you're there to uh, prevent really discouraging kinds of experiences. I think that's an important uh, kind of general tip. We're very lucky to uh, send our students on. They do internships um, in, in addition to the kind of practicum works that we do with them. The students also write an extensive report and have to reflect on how their preparation influenced their um, activity in the, in the internship and how they now look at themselves and the world and their opportunities up ahead. Uh, we know that our students come out of our programs uh, with a 
sense that they were very well prepared compared to other people in their workplace in terms of the concrete skills that they bring to it. So we feel that uh, it's very important to address our educational objectives to what the students um, need to be able to do and know and um, how they need to be able to act in the specific kinds of professional context they're going to. And addressing it that way also helps motivate the students because they can see that what we're asking them to do is exactly the kind of thing that they're going to need to do um, once they're out of school.